Oh, hey there. <laughs> oh, wow. That could be a blooper. I'm sorry. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa. In my last video, I was so excited because I decided to get Sister Locks. And, you know, I'm like, this is a new time, new journey, and I just wanna document everything. And I wouldn't be completely honest with you if I didn't talk to you about my Sister Lock installation horror story. Um, right now, I do have Sister Locks, and there we go. They're pinned back because they look horrendous. Um, I got my installation done in February. So this past month has just been quite the roller coaster, quite the experience for me. Um, I do have my website up. So if you want to see detailed pictures or read about the story, look at the description box down below. Um, also, please hit the subscribe button. Okay. So you don't have to subscribe just yet because you know you don't want to commit to me i understand but anyways um i got my sister locks installed in february and i was so excited for installation day as you guys know i have videos well i posted a video saying that i'm going to get my sister locks installed now i just want to preface this whole entire story by saying that me posting this is to teach others about my experience, that was the intention of even documenting my sister lock journey. So it's not a video to bash anyone, it's just to show others what I went through so that hopefully if you are thinking of getting sister locks, you don't go through the same thing as I went through because it has been a crappy, crappy month overall. So in my last video, I talked about how I found my I went on two consultations. I don't think I mentioned that actually. So backtracking, I went on two consultations. The first consultation, um, I found somebody on the Sister Lock website. And also, before you bash me in the comments, just know that I have learned a really hard lesson. All right, I got my Sister Locks. Um, I went to two consultations back in December, I believe. Um, I was extra excited for the experience of getting Sister Locks and also the installation. So I went on the website and I found someone and they quoted me, because of the length and density of my hair, they quoted me about $1,600. And it was weird because I was expecting around that number. So I don't know why it was a surprise to me, but she said $1,600 and this is someone who is very well known in the sister lock community in New England. So I was really excited to work with that person. But then I decided to go on social media to see if I can find another consultant because I noticed I had just seen one person. And so I felt like maybe I should look around, talk to more people, um, introduce myself to more consultants so that Maybe I'll find somebody else that I'll gel differently with, not necessarily better, but just differently. And um, let me get a few more price quotes. So I went on social media, did some digging, and I found another consultant. And I noticed that this person wasn't exactly on the website, but I still wanted to give them a try. So days later, I went to the consultation. I saw the, when I walked in, this person has gorgeous sister locks. So I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I was shown the sister lock video. My hair was measured. Um, they answered all of my questions. I saw that, you know, um, they had the sister lock products everywhere and the tool. And I know the tool is pretty hard to, to come by if you're not a consultant or did not take a class. So I felt like, in my head, my thought process was, all right, well maybe this person just didn't want to renew their certification or maybe they, they just didn't have time to. And that's why they're not on the website. Um, and so my hair was measured and I was quoted, I was quoted 950. And so I felt like, all right, this is a better price, number one. Number two, this person lives a lot closer to me. 
Um, I'm all about convenience. And number three, um, I felt like, so what they're not on the website? I remember when I had, when they quoted me the price of $9.50, um, she explained to me, she was just like, wow, I don't have anyone with hair like yours on my portfolio. So I think that it would be great for my portfolio, so I'm gonna give you a bit of a discount. It's gonna be $9.50. You know, I really wanna work with you. Um, your hair is beautiful, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, sure. I definitely wanna give somebody um, who's trying to come up in the business a chance. I'm a photographer, and I remember when I did my first wedding, I was so excited that somebody had given me an opportunity. And it was just a small backyard wedding, and I was very upfront with them and I told them I had never photographed a wedding before. And because they had loved my portrait and engagement work, they said, all right, Vanessa, we're gonna give you a chance. And so that's what I wanted to do for this person. I felt like everyone starts off somewhere. So I gave them a chance and we set the installation dates for, we set the installation date for sometime in February, early February and I took off two days from work. I was told that the installation would be three days long, Thursday, Friday, and half of Saturday. So I took off Thursday and Friday from work, vacation days. And I get to the installation, I'm like, guys, I am amped. I'm so freaking excited to, you know, start the whole Bantu knots, the grid. I've seen pictures, I've done research. So I'm like, sister lock me up, girl. I am ready. And so I sit down and she starts parting my hair. And it takes forever to part my hair. And the longer it takes, I'm like feeling really confident with my decision to choose her. And I'm like, she's a perfectionist. This is gonna be great. She is taking her time. And that's what I need. Somebody who's taking their time, making sure it's done right, making sure that I get the best experience possible. So I'm like, all right, cool. We good, we good. And so she does a small section right here on the side of the front side of my hair. And I noticed that she's only locking. I have 14 inches of hair and she was only locking about five to six inches of my hair. And I brought it up to her and I was just like, yeah, I noticed that you're not locking all the way down. And she tells me, oh, it's okay. Um, the sister lock pattern is supposed to like, the sister lock method is supposed to promote your own curl pattern. And so eventually my ends are going to shrink up and become one with the rest of the lock. And I'm like, okay. She has gorgeous hair, so. You know what, who, who am I? Who am I to question this professional? So she continues onto my hair, and I am the type of person that when you're doing something, I don't like to look in the mirror right away because I wanna be surprised. I wanna be blown away at the end. When I take down the Bantu knots, I need to be like, whoa, son of a, I look good, right? So I didn't look at my hair I was looking at my hair, but I wasn't really looking. Like I would take little peeks into the mirror, but I kept telling myself, all right, Vanessa, it's gonna be great. It's going to look beautiful. And so I think I brought up the fact that she wasn't locking all the way down, maybe once more. And again, she told me not to worry, it's gonna be okay. So after the third day, um, I went home, took down my hair, and again, texted her and said, I don't think I feel comfortable with this amount of hair left out. And she told me again, it's going to be okay. She sent me pictures of her installation and she had ends left out, but she also had much shorter hair than I do. And so still something didn't feel right. So I left it alone. And I remember that night I could not sleep. I was... I mean, once you spend that kind of money, you don't wanna see it thrown in the trash. I was like thinking, something's not right. So I woke up the next day and actually two days later of really not being able to sleep, I woke up and decided to get back on the Sister Lock website and call up different consultants. 
um, making sure not to call the consultant that I had originally met with because I didn't want her to just laugh at me and be like, girl, you stupid. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna call her. I'm gonna call everyone else. And so I called a couple of consultants and I got in touch with two wonderful women in the Boston area and I showed them my hair. I sent them pictures and they were shocked. I am going to try to put some pictures of how my hair looked like somewhere on this screen so you can see how it looked like exactly and what I sent them. So they saw my hair and were just like in shock. They were thinking, no, you don't have sister locks. And it was just, I remember being so embarrassed, so embarrassed. And so I made an appointment to go meet with them in person and for them to look at my grid and really see what's going on. So days later, I go to their studio, their home studio in Boston and they're looking at my hair. They say the grid looks great. She did a great job on the grid. And so I was excited because that meant that I guess the time wasn't totally wasted. And so they said that I either had two options. Find someone to continue my hair, my locks. Um, they unfortunately weren't going to be able to continue my locks because of the fact that they were booked until late April and I couldn't wait that long. And so I could either find someone to continue my locks, but they said that it would be the price of a brand new installation, most likely, because of the amount of hair that was left out. So that was one option. The second option would be to go to my original consultant and ask her to continue on my locks or give me my money back. And so, of course I'm gonna choose the second option to try to get my money back or ask homegirl to continue my hair because this looks ridiculous. And so, they wanted to see if it was even possible to continue on my hair. And it was. And I was definitely relieved when I saw that it was because I, the thought of taking down my locks it wasn't an option. I did not want to start all over, especially since the grid looked fine. And so I called my original consultant who, consultant who installed my, my sister locks and she was just really defensive. I told her I'd been seeing other people and that they said that I don't have sister locks and that she needs to continue on and that she didn't do a great job and she was a little defensive on the phone and then she agreed to see me, of course. And so a couple days later, I go to her house for a, um, to see if she could continue my locks and the experience when I got there was, <laughs> it was, it was interesting. I got there and she was very rude and you know, I told her, I was just like, I don't understand why you're being so rude. I mean, girl, you being rude when you're the one who messed up, but I digress, I didn't say that. But we just had quite the experience. She was telling me that my locks were fine and that they looked beautiful and I'm looking in the mirror like, really? Because I think I look ridiculous. Mind you, she had me wash my hair um, in order to, for her to see me, she had me wash my hair the night before. And it had been less than a week since she had installed my locks. So my hair wasn't dirty. I had no products in it. And so she insisted that I wash my hair. And I didn't want any trouble. So I said okay, and I agreed. And I remember when I washed my hair, my ends shrunk up. And I looked in the mirror thinking, yeah, this is gonna lock. This is gonna form one chunky freeform lock at the bottom of my hair, but it's not going to lock in the way that she thinks that it is. And so she was like, don't you think your hair looks better? And I was like, no, I actually think my hair looks ridiculous. And well, my hair had shrunk up really bad because she had me wash my hair. And so I then tell her that I had never seen anyone's hair locked 
the way that my hair looked. Um, I had done months of research on Pinterest. I had followed people on YouTube like Dark and Lovely and Let's Journey and a whole bunch of other people. And nobody's hair, no one's hair installation looked like what mine looked like. Mine looked like a hot freaking mess. Like hot mess is an understatement. It just looked horrendous. And so I showed her pictures. I showed her videos and I was like, well, let me show you examples of what I thought I would be getting from you. And I showed her one person's video and she was like, well, that person's hair is shorter than yours. And I'm like, okay. So I showed her someone else's video that with hair just as long as mine. And she was like, well, that person's hair isn't as dense as yours. And I'm thinking, what does it matter? So I tell her, well, you measured and priced me for 14 inches and you only used about five inches of hair. To me, that makes no sense. And I think we went back and forth a little bit for a little bit longer and I told her I was going to leave. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna leave. If you can send me my money back, that would be great. And so she insisted, no, it's fine, I'll do it. So I sit down in her chair and I'm like, all right, she's gonna do it. And she apologizes for being rude and I'm like, okay. And I sit down and she's looking at my hair in detail now, like looking at my grid and parting my hair. And she's like, I didn't do these locks. That was my face. I was like, what do you mean you didn't do these locks? And she's like, yeah, this isn't my work. And this is me. <laughs> Which, this is your hair. This is the hair that you did. This is your work. Nobody else has touched my hair since you've done it. And then she moves on and she's like, oh, okay. Well, what does she say to me afterwards? She says to me, she tells me that she did not do these locks. And then she sits down. And when she sits down to really look at my hair, she says, well, I don't think continuing would be the right idea because you would just have a bunch of holes in your locks. And I'm like, okay is there another option and she tells me well we're gonna what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna take them all down and at this point I'm like you're you're going to what and she's like yeah I think it would be best if we just take this all down and start from scratch and put aside another couple of days to you know start it all over and no absolutely not and so I slowly get up and I'm taking the clips out of my hair and I tell her at this point you know what I'm just gonna go somewhere else and or I'm just gonna take them down myself I don't know what I'm going to do but no thank you and if I could just get my money back that would be great and so a few minutes later she gives me a full refund which I am so grateful for because if I had to walk away from the money that I already paid, that would have been really hard for me to do. So she gives me a full refund and I go home and literally get into the shower and pour a bottle of conditioner all over my head. I don't know, I, I guess I thought that if I stand under the water with conditioner, it would just all unravel and it didn't at all. It, the locks were not going anywhere. So then I realized I'm just gonna have to take this all down one by one and I'm all right with that, sort of. So I start in the back and I start picking at the locks one by one and it took me a really long time just to do three locks and I lost a lot of hair with just those three locks. I mean, my hair had only been in sister lock, in the sister locks for a week and so the hair that I lost was much more than shed hair it was way more than that it was breakage like I was 
combing through it with like a little pick and I was just hearing the snap, the snap crackle pop all throughout. Like I figured if I continue, I'm gonna lose all my hair because just from the three in the back, I lost so much. And so I knew I had to stop and think of a new plan. And I'm thinking, all right, well, what am I gonna do? So maybe I should call up different consultants, try to see them and make something happen. And so my fiance then tells me, just call Martine. Call the person who was gonna originally install your lock and explain to her the story. I thought that was an insane idea because it was just going to be so embarrassing. I thought this woman was just going to crap all over my life and laugh at me and turn me away. But she did it. I called her and she was wonderful on the phone. She was totally understanding and mind you, I told her everything. I told her how I went to somebody else. I told her about the price difference. I told her about the entire experience. And when I got off the phone with her, well, she had agreed to see me the next day. And when I got off the phone with her, I felt a sense of relief. And so the next day after work, I drove to her house and when she opened the door, she gave me a hug. And I felt a weight being lifted off of my shoulder. So I sat down in her chair, she looked at my grid, said that my grid looked great and that I wouldn't need to take them down. We looked at the different options and she tried to continue on different locks and turns out it was simple. We're just gonna continue on or start from the bottom and lock our way up to meet the original lock. And so, there was a plan in place and it was a weight had been lifted off of my shoulders. Then after she tells me that it's going to be possible to continue on, we make a couple of appointments and so the upside is, is that my hair is going to be sister locked and I don't have to start over. I did have to pay a new installation price, which was what I expected and I'm fine with. Um, the downside is, is that it's just going to take a while because the process is slow, it's tedious, and it needs to, because I, I can't really take time off from work, I have to do it little by little. And so that's the downside. And I'm just so excited for this whole thing to be over. Um, I hope that I hope that within the next week I'll be done with my hair um, and ready to wear my sister locks out and I'm hoping that my sister locks flourish and I don't look like a buffoon but we, we gonna see we gonna find out but so far um, I'm just exhausted <laughs> so that is my sister lock horror story I'm definitely going to be updating this story so once my locks are done I'll post another video and also continue blogging so make sure you guys check out my blog and my advice so as I mentioned before my intentions are to teach others who are trying to get sister locks um, so it's not to bash my consultant um, but more so to teach others you know I I always thought that yeah, it was great to look on the Sister Lock website, but you didn't necessarily need to. And that was, of course, where I went wrong. Always get your consultant from the Sister Lock website. Like, learn from me, just do it. And I thought, well, what if this consultant just didn't want to, you know, renew her certification or if she missed the deadline, I don't know. But if they care about Sister Locks, and they do this full time and this is what they're passionate about, they shouldn't have to mind making a deadline or paying the fee to get your sister lock papers in order. If this is something that they truly are, care about and want to do, then this shouldn't be an issue. So definitely go and find someone that's on the website. Um, 
just know that this is an expensive style. It is, I mean, one that's going to last, of course, a lifetime, but starting out, the installation price is going to be up there. So if you're going to shop for discounts, just make sure it's within the Sister Lot community and they are certified Sister Lot consultants and not just people you see off of social media or just off the street. So that was my experience. And if you've made it this far into this long ass video, you might as well subscribe at this point. So hit the subscription box down below and be sure to check out my site fritzmean.com to look at more pictures and to read in more detail about my experience but i really hope to see you guys soon i will be hopefully making another video when my hair is all done and i can't wait to make that reveal video when you're like showing off your grid and you're like look at these locks don't they look good um because i've seen way too many of them and i'll be damned if i don't get the chance to make one so Hopefully that will be coming soon, but thank you so much for sticking with me this far. Bye.